I'm going to reset max. Uh, I really do want to reset it. I'm just going to open up AutoCAD and just have a quick look at the file that we're going to be using. And uh, like I said before, uh, use AutoCAD to draft as much as possible, uh, especially for this sort of fairly simple landscape work. Uh, much quicker than trying to do it in Max. Max has got um, fairly good tools for um, changing splines, but they're not really the same as AutoCAD. Um, so if we open the example garden, DWG, I have set out, um, I could show you this in Max as well, uh, with the layers, but I, I've basically just set out a, a square. I'm going to have uh, the seating areas here around the outside and then some ponds in the center uh, with some um, bushes like the one that we saw uh, from the reference at Villandry and uh, then some trimmed trees these guys are going to go around the edge we're actually going to use um, uh, we want these to look like three trees planted together uh, trimmed into one shape so we're going to we're going to um, uh, create that we're going to have to create one for the corner uh, which will be the same for all the corners and one for this shape here um, and we're going to also create some bushes down here uh, we, we just need to create one and then we'll copy the proxy around um, and there's a few more um, uh, plants and things we're going to put in but I've, I've built those um, or I've got those from the library and we're just going to merge those in so we can close AutoCAD, we're not going to do any drafting in that. If we go to File in Max, we go to File, Open. And we're going to open Example Garden 01. We'll find those later. Um, right, again, it's not a completely empty scene. It has got the V-Ray um, light in there on the on the layer and I have put some assets uh, some 3d models in there we'll just go and see what those are uh, there's a v-ray proxy there of some grass um, a planter and uh, a tree uh, in the shape of an obelisk and I made that uh, from the uh, from a file the, the file we've just made uh, that's um, the exact same method that's how that's been made there um, so we're, we're going to use those later we'll turn them off and we're going to work in layer zero we'll go to file references file link manager and we're going to choose the file the, the DWG file here open um, you've got the option here to rescale it but that AutoCAD file is also drawn in meters, so it'll it'll come into the max scene in meters at the right scale. Um, we can select layers to include. Um, I'm going to select from the list. I, I don't need the grid. It's quite a heavy layer. We, we don't need it. We've just used it to create the um, the plan in AutoCAD, and then attach this file. It will come in very quickly, and we'll go to File, and um, there's some three options here. Uh, you could, um, if you make a uh, change to the original AutoCAD plan, you can um, reload it and it will update in Max. Um, you can get rid of this completely uh, from Max, or you can bind it, which which just means it will uh, bring it into 3D Max, and these will all now be uh, editable splines. And um, that's what we've just done. Um, now we're not going to uh, spend too long modeling uh, a lot of the work is done in AutoCAD it's pretty much going to be uh, extruding um, so the first thing we'll do is uh, uh, we'll do the plants last the first thing we'll do is um, look at the uh, planters and uh, like I said all of these layers have come in uh, from AutoCAD so if I have to choose planters and select objects in the current layer it will choose all of the planter objects and then I'm going to hide unselected so I've just got these guys ok 
I said, I'm just going to extrude those to uh, sort of a sitting height. I don't want the, the ends, uh, to, I don't want them to be capped, but I do want to make sure that uh, they have mapping coordinates. Uh, I'm going to be using real, real world map scale for all of these. Um, okay. And now I want to choose uh, the, the stone finish on top of those guys. And I want the ones at the outside, the ones on the outside to, to sit on top of uh, the planters there. So I'll choose the ones in the middle easily. Press I to select invert. And then choose the move tool. Move those guys up. I'm just going to snap those uh, sorry, uh, Control Z to undo that. Um, just going to uh, get my snap to work. Yep, yeah, there we go. Snap those to the top of the planters there, and we'll move in to see what we're doing here. There we go. So those are those are going to be uh, uh, the trim around the ponds, uh, and these are going to be trim around the planters which are raised to a sort of a sitting height uh, and a bit more detail than extrude in, in these guys I'm going to use a bevel uh, so a minus a number minus point, uh, yeah, point 0.1 sorry my, uh, minus point zero 0.01 so just a centimeter uh, and then those will extrude up a centimeter and go out by a centimeter and then we want to give them uh, a thickness so uh, we'll say um, four centimeters and then finish them off with another bevel on the top I'll just use the same numbers here a centimeter so Point zero one, and then outlined uh, minus point zero one. And if we get real close to these, you can see uh, with the viewport clipping, of course. If I choose a vertex and then show end results, and I'm using the middle mouse button to spin around you can see the bevel that we've created on these and uh, also the way I drafted them in AutoCAD I left a gap as well between all right and all of these objects at the moment they've all got uh, an ugly black AutoCAD material assigned to them um, so we'll unhide everything choose everything and then go to utilities uh, UVW remove and I want to remove not the mapping but I do want to re remove the materials um, what's next um, I guess uh, we could we should do the ponds uh, right, I've chosen those there Need, we don't need those actually. Uh, we delete those. Uh, actually, we we could use those for something. We could use those for the surface of the water. So we'll we'll detach them instead. Um, I control Z there and go down to detach. And I'm going to call those uh, water surface. extrude on there. Now these are going to be the, the pool liners. Uh, I'm going to extrude those down. So a minus um, half a meter for example. You just hide these. There we go and they're not capped uh, but I do want to cap the start. There we go so they have a bottom. 
and then I also have to apply a normal modifier to turn them inside out. And they're going to be mapped as well. And then unhide by name the water surface. And we could make those a different color just so it's a little less confusing. Um, turn the snaps off and just move those down. And those are going to describe uh, the water surface. Uh, whereas these are going to be these guys here, layer 04, we could rename those as the liners for the pools. And then unhide everything. So we're getting there. Um, now we, we could choose the paving and uh, it's going to be fairly heavy this uh, we're not going to use the bevel we'll just use a, an extrude um, but there is an a, there is an advantage to having these all drafted individually as opposed to done with a texture um, uh, which we'll come to in a minute but we're just going to extrude those and it'll take a minute but it will do it to extrude these down um, uh, the thickness of a paving slab really necessarily the the undersides we don't need those so we can turn those off save a bit of the poly count there and then I'm going to copy that modifier I'm going to choose the dark paving and I'm just going to paste in can paste in an instance a few more things to do. We've got a layer here called metal finish. And if I had a bit more time, I think I would um, these would these would be uh, uplighters, lights perhaps, uh, but uh, I'm going to just make these metal and they'll just give a bit of interest uh, to the render um, sort of jewelry it's called in our office. Um, but uh, if I hide everything else, actually if I hide everything else apart from the stone finish there, I actually there's quite a lot of these which I need to, to move up. So I'm going to go to the top view. And then you've got, I've got squares set down in the pavement. If I go to the wireframe view. I've also got these um, little guys. Um, not exactly sure what you call these, but they're to stop the skateboarders. Uh, and they also do a good job of um, telling people where they can, you know, how much space they can take up as they eat their sandwiches. So I'm just control selecting all of these. the right layer. 